today the topic of discussion is normalization of data and in this we'll understand bcnf boy scout normal form so let's start with the definition the boy scout normal form bcnf was proposed as simpler form of 3nf it was proposed as it is simpler form of 3nf but it was found to be stricter than 3nf it was proposed as simpler than 3NF, but it was found that it is stricter than 3NF because every relation is in BCNF is also in 3NF. However, a relation in 3NF is not necessary in BCNF. What it is trying to say, if a relation, suppose R1 or R2, both are in BCNF, then 100% they are in 3NF. But if R1 and R2 are in 3NF, then we cannot say, we cannot always say that this is in BCNF. It can be or it cannot be. But this is always true. This is not always true. Fine. Okay. So, this is because of which BCNF is stricter than 3NF. Now, the definition, a relational schema R, the definition is exactly same as of 3NF. A relational schema R is in BCNF if Whenever non-trivial functional dependency, I have ex explained you what is non-trivial functional dependency. Whenever a non-trivial functional dependency x to a holds in R, then x is a super key of R. So, what is the difference between 3NF and BCNF? In 3NF, the definition is this. If x to a is a non-trivial functional dependency, then either x is a super key or a is a prime attribute. So, this was definition of 3NF. But what is definition of BCNF? BCNF say if x to a is a non-trivial functional dependency, then x should be a super key. It does not say anything about a. So, this is BCNF. Fine. Okay. So, because of this, if a table is in BCNF, then if a table is in BCNF, then it is satisfying this property and this property is also followed by 3NF. So, 100% if a table is in BCNF and it is, then it should be in 3NF. But suppose if a table is in 3NF and it becomes 3NF due to prime attribute, then 100% this is not satisfied in BCNF. So, we can say that if a table is in 3NF, it may or may not be in BCNF. Fine. Okay. The only difference between the definition of BCNF and 3NF is that B Condition B of 3NF, which I just told you, that is of prime attribute, which allows A to be prime attribute, which allows A to be a prime, is absent in BCNF. Okay. Fine. Okay. So, let's solve one question and I'll explain you this question. I will explain you this question in the next slide. So, this next slide has a question that given a table R, X, Y, Z, given table R, X, y and z okay and functional dependency x y to z x y to z and z to y z to y determine whether the given r is in bcnf you have to determine is this is in bcnf if not then decompose it into bcnf fine okay so you have to solve this question and uh, check whether this is in bcnf or not so let's start so let's start okay so, let's start uh, how to solve this. First of all, the definition is what? Defini First of all, find the candidate key. So, determine those attributes which do not have an arrow. X do not have an arrow. So, X will be the attribute which will be the part of candidate key. But I don't know whether X can determine all the attributes. Find the closure of X. So, X closure will have X. I should have XY to determine Z. I have only X. I cannot do anything. I should have Z to determine Y. I don't have Z. So, with the help of X plus, you can determine only X. So, X is not a candidate key. Now, find the combination of X. X combination is XY. X combination with XZ. So, with xy, closure of xy, you can write xy and with xy, you can write z and with the help of xy, you are determining all the attributes. So, xy become candidate key. Fine. And now, find the closure of xz. The closure of xz will have xz. Fine. Closure of xz and with the help of z, you can determine y. So, with the help of xz, you are determining all the attributes. So, this become candidate key. Fine. Okay. Now, you have two candidate key, xy and xz. So, now check whether the given functional dependencies are in BCNF or not. So, what is the definition of BCNF? If x to a is a non-trivial functional dependency, then this should be a super key. Only this should be a super key. So, x to xy to z. Is XY a super key? Yes, XY a super key. A candidate key and super key both are same. So, this is in BCNF. Now, check this. Is this a BCNF? 
then this should be a super key. Is this a super key? No, Z is not a super key. X, Z is a super key. So this is not in BCNF. So our table is not in BCNF. Our table is not in BCNF. If the table is not in BCNF, what we'll do? We'll divide the table to BCNF. So how we'll divide? So one will be R1 from which, which functional dependency was creating a problem? X, Z, Y. So one will be Z and Y one will be for z and y z and y and there were two key one was x y and one was x z so two will be for key x y and x z now very important note very important when there are more than one key then you have to see that in a table having more than one key you have to com compare two tables r1 and r2 with one with key and one with non key then there should be one common attribute is there one common attribute yes y is a common attribute and that common attribute should be a key in a table here z to y is here z is a key and x to y here x is a key so in both the table even though y is a common attribute but y is not a key so we'll delete will not include this table fine still confused let's see in r1 and r3 is there any common attribute yes z is a common attribute and in both the table that common attribute should be a key here z is a candidate key so yes we have found that a z is a candidate key so we say that we say that z is a candidate key so we have to decompose the table r1 which is having z which is having z and y which is having z and y and r2 is having x and z fine so we have those two decompositions so this is the answer of above boy scott normal form okay and at last thank you okay very important part uh, this is this is very important thing so this is let me show you one thing very clearly okay so if i talk about india okay so first is what continent asia and then continent asia has india then india has a delhi delhi city and in delhi we have a red fort so if i am in red fort then 100% i am in delhi if i am in red fort delhi then 100% i am in delhi and 100% i am in india and 100% i am in asia that is if our table is in bcnf then 100% it is in 3nf it is in 2nf and it is in 1nf but if a table is in 3nf suppose i am in delhi it doesn't mean that i am in red fort i am in delhi it doesn't mean that i am in red fort so but if i am in delhi then 100% i am in india and 100% i am in asia fine so if a table is in 3nf then 100% it is in 2nf and 1nf but it doesn't mean it is in bcnf so what we found what we found is that if a table is in bcnf then 100% it is in 3nf it is in 2nf and it is in 1nf but if a table is in 3nf then 100% it is in 2nf and 1nf but we cannot say anything above that that is we can't say anything about bcnf bcnf fine okay so if a table is in higher form then 100% it is in lower form 